What do you mean, what's behind my seat? You mean this? <laughs> Well, guys, a few weeks ago, Christy and I were contacted by a company called Pecruz, and they asked us if we'd be interested in demonstrating or reviewing one of their backpack-style drone cases. It's like, heck yeah. I wasn't necessarily looking for a new case whenever they contacted us, but we ended up getting an e-scooter, and I was like, you know what? A backpack-style case would probably suit the bill for that type of a need. When I'm looking for a drone case, I'm not necessarily looking for just a drone case to hold all my stuff. There's a lot more variables to that. You guys all know this. When you buy your drone, it's an expensive piece of equipment and you want to keep it safe, you want to keep it protected, but you also want to have that convenience as well to have a case that's going to suit your needs for whatever you're doing. What I've learned over the past few years with the different cases that we've gotten is that there's no perfect case out there for every scenario. Every scenario is different and every scenario may require a different, I guess, aspect of your drone case. Well, just for example, back when we got our first drone, the DJI Mini 2 that we called Jack, we didn't have a lot of gear to go along so that small case that DJI provided with the Fly More Pack was perfect. Well, then I decided I wanted to start going fishing with Jack in the kayak. Well, guess what? That bag and a kayak probably weren't a very good match. If you guys have been watching our channel for any length of time, you know that bad things happen to where the Roberts. So if I had that drone case in a kayak, the kayak's going to flip over and that case is going to get wet and the drone is going to be destroyed. So what did we do? We went to Harbor Freight and we bought a hard case just for Jack. It had everything that we needed, so that case fit the bill for what we needed at that point. Well, later on, we decided to buy a second DJI Mini 2, which we now know is Rose. We bought her from the Ginu guy. Well, guess what? We needed a bigger case. <laughs> so we decided to go back to Harbor Freight, and we bought this humongous, awesome, orange Dukes of Hazard style case for both drones. This orange case served our needs perfectly. That is until we bought our DJI Mini 4 Pro that we call Dwight. Fortunately, we were able to find Dwight a new home in Jack's original hard case that we got from Harbor Freight. So then we had a small black case and a big orange case. At that point, I think that we're pretty much set with cases because the orange case not only holds both drones, it holds all of our GoPro gear that we need, it holds all the microphones, everything. Well then, another opportunity came to us whenever we were contacted by Hovsco and we got this e-scooter to test out. I don't know about you, but carrying two big heavy cases on an e-scooter with drones out in the middle of the wilderness to try to catch, capture some good drone footage, it's pretty difficult. Well, that's when P-Cruise came to the rescue. They contacted us, asked if we wanted to try out one of their backpack-style drone cases. I was like, that's the perfect fit for that e-scooter. Personally, I think that P-Cruise and the e-scooter company were in cahoots because they couldn't have contacted us at a more perfect time. P-Cruise actually sent us two different bags. They sent us this bag, which is the backpack-style bag for the DJI Mini 4 Pro, but they also sent us this sling-style bag for the DJI Mini 2. I figured out a way to wear both of these at the same time. What do you think of this? <laughs> so while I'm riding down the trails to try to find a really good drone spot, I can wear the Mini 2 on the front and the Mini 4 on the back. <laughs> well, I'm not going to necessarily go through every pocket or every zipper of this drone case, but I do want to let you know that this case itself is supposed to be waterproof and it's also supposed to be shockproof, which is pretty nice when you have such an expensive drone inside. I also want to show you at least this front case here, or this front pocket. So you open up the zipper here, you open up this pouch, well, right here is a zippered pouch as well, where you can keep all of your extra cables and, and things like that. But your drone is held in right here. So you open up this flap, you fold this down, and there's all the goodies. You got your drone, your controller, all of your batteries, and your charging uh, cable. And what's funny is, is I was kind of hesitant about being able to fit my controller in here because you guys know that I've added this cover to it. Well, I've also added this little kickstand to it, to the back. That's going to come in a later video. But it's not necessarily a kickstand, it's got, an, it's got another purpose. I didn't think it was gonna fit in here. So what I did was, I, I just set it in there backwards like this, and I closed this up like that, and it's perfectly protected, it's fine. Then I can zip this back up, and I'm good to go. Another feature about this backpack is that it'll expand from 30 liters to 40 liters. And all you gotta do is just, where's the zipper? <laughs> I gotta find the zipper. Is that the zipper? That's not the right zipper. I don't know where the zipper is. I've lost the zipper. Another cool feature about this backpack is that it expands. Now right now it's set at 30 liters. That's, that's the size of this backpack. But I can open up this zipper pouch or this zipper area right here and this will expand to 40 liters. Now that's a pretty big difference. Right now I don't have a lot of stuff in there so I'm gonna keep it small. <laughs> 
aside of the durability, the flexibility, the convenience, and all the stuff that this bag offers, there's one really cool feature that I've never seen in a backpack in my life. Now this may be common to everybody else, but again, I might live under a rock. <laughs> well, right here is a USB-A outlet. And you're supposed to be able to hook up your devices to this USB outlet to keep your stuff charged while you're on the go. The way that you access that USB outlet in order to, to provide, I guess, a, a charging station is you open the, the case up, you unlock this zipper, or open up this zipper, and hidden inside here, or tucked away in here, is the USB cord. I've got one of these battery packs, and you just plug the battery pack into it. Of course, I've got it wrong the first time. You plug the battery pack into it, and there's a little pouch in here that the battery pack can set in. You tuck the cord away, and then you zip everything back up. Well, you can plug your phone directly into this and keep it charged. That's pretty awesome. And then your phone can just store in here while it's charging. That is a really neat feature. There are so many little storage areas and little nooks in this, in this bag. I can't even go over them all. I know that I've only been using this bag for a couple of weeks. But I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the durability and with the function of this bag. My only true concern about this bag is will the stitching hold up as long as it's supposed to. Let me put this down here and let me real quick talk about the sling style case. Now this is pretty cool because it's, again, it's a sling style case that you can wear on the front or the back. The only difficulty that I found with this case is trying to get this hook into this loop here. It takes a minute. I'm just not coordinated enough, I guess, to do it. But there we go, I got it. Oh. <laughs> Get this thing off of me! When you first open these cases out of the package, it comes with these foam inserts that you have to remove to put your stuff inside the drone. This is what the foam inserts look like. Look how thick they are. That is some really strong material. Well, that's what's inside here to protect your drone from the shock if you drop it. I'm trying to think of when I would drop this. Maybe when I crash the e-scooter? Possibly. I was talking back and forth with a P-Cruise representative and I was telling him that I like this backpack style case a little bit more than I like the sling style case just because there's more room in it. And I've got the Mini 4 Pro in this case and the Mini 2 in this case. So it'd be nice to have two backpacks for one for each case or one for each drone. And he told me something that was pretty cool. He said, you don't really have to decide which case you want to pick. He said, what you can do is you can interchange these uh, inserts, basically just take the insert out and they're interchangeable from backpack to backpack. So now I can carry the Mini 2 in this case, in the backpack case, and it's that easy. Now again, I know and I agree that there's no perfect drone case out there. And these P-Crew bags, they may not fit every single scenario that you guys are looking for, but what it does is it gives you options. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for options and we're looking for convenience. If you guys are interested in seeing more information about these P-Crew cases, feel free to click on the unaffiliated link that's in the description. It'll take you straight to their store, which is located on Amazon, and you can see the ins and the outs. Make up your own mind. You can decide if this case is right for you or if this case is right for you. I want to thank P-Crews for reaching out to us. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week. God bless.